Hi, my name is Maria Zinga. I'm from Tanzania. I am Natani Nedrona. I am from Bangladesh. My name is Ruara Shelapnes Moriengwe. Hi, I'm Lida Carolina Lesmes from Bogota, Colombia. I'm a medical doctor and lecturer at Catholic University of Health and Allied Sciences in Mwanza City, Tanzania. I completed a master's in genetics in 2021. I studied from the University of Zimbabwe. I'm biology and microbiology professor at Universidad de los Llanos in Vita Vicencio. And my main focus is in malaria research. I like learning new stuff. I like intriguing questions. So this is Lake Victoria. Parents, my relatives inspire me to do whatever you like, you can do. I got my passion for plant science from my father. We used to go to the farm during the weekends, during the vacation. And ever since I was a kid, he used to say, you know, when you grow up, I want you to be a plant scientist. Since I was a child, the biology has been my biggest passion. I just always knew that the biology was my way. Malaria is still a problem in my country. Approximately 100% of population is at risk, but the most vulnerable population is pregnant women as well as under five years of age kids. After I finished my bachelor degree in medicine, I had an opportunity to work as intern doctor. There I saw kids dying from malaria. So when they come to the hospital, most of the time it's already too late. When I saw this, I thought I need to do something about it. We need to have better diagnosis. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. The big challenges that I face is lack of laboratory facilities. Also, we don't have people who have knowledge and skills that can help us do this research here at home. And I never believe in impossible. I always believe in, let's try again. We are going for sample collection. <laughs> Hi. We are in the lab doing uh, sample processing. When I applied, I googled the ICGP so I could see that it's a world-class laboratory. pandemic time, we could understand the power of bioinformatics. Many people were dying, so I was feeling very heartbroken. I wanted to make something and I wanted to contribute myself for the sake of society. My research objective is to design and develop new anti-malarial and anti-cancer drug compounds. Suppose here, this is the protein of our interest. The higher affinity with the protein and the ligands, the better drug it is. If we can block this protein, malaria or the parasite cannot go inside the body. So my task is to build the new compounds through the machine learning and later we will check the efficacy of the drug. It will help to reduce the time for making a new drug. When I found that ICGB Impar Fellowship, I was thinking that I was looking for exactly the same thing. So I was feeling so excited and I just applied. My research is about sorghum microbiome under salt stress. Basically speaking, sorghum is one of the cereals that is mainly grown worldwide after rice, maize, barley and wheat. It is a crop that is drought resilient. We are trying to address the problem of high salinity. It affects crop productivity. In my research, I am using sorghum because it is a hard plant that can withstand environmental stress conditions, for instance, high salinity, as compared to other cereal crops. So in this case, given its moderate tolerance to high salinity, we are using it as a model crop. 
getting the offer for the Empower Fellowship really came to me as a surprise. I was super excited. Initially, I couldn't even believe it. But I'm so happy Empower gave me this opportunity, which means I can have all these things at my disposal and I will be having a lot of people who can help me with doing the work. I studied in into a public university that is very competitive to get in. I think that in Colombia it's very difficult to become a scientist because here we don't have the support of the government. We don't have money, support for our research. The aim of our project is to study immunological interaction between endemic and emerging viruses like SARS-CoV-2. How is the immune system in people who were exposed to SARS-CoV-2 and that were also uh, infected at some point in their life with another kind of human coronavirus, the ones that cause a common flu. The idea is to look for antibodies for this kind of coronaviruses and to check if they could give us some immunity against COVID-19 disease. This enabled us uh, to be better prepared for future coronavirus pandemics. We need to know how to react to that kind of viruses. Now we are at Universidad de los Llanos. Like you can see, this is a beautiful place located into a hospital of biodiversity. The other day when I was opening the emails, then I found the email from Empower. And when I opened it, they say, okay, you got this chance. So what? Should I got it? So I was really happy. I didn't really believe it. So uh, I will be leaving for six months and be away from my family. It's tough because my kids are small. So it's difficult emotionally, but I think we, we are going to make it <laughs> work. It's going to work. I'm at Dar es Salaam airport waiting for my flight to Cape Town, South Africa. I'm so excited for this journey. Thank you. It was very difficult to collect all of the required documents and submitted it within the deadline. Suddenly, I got the message from my supervisor, your application is being successful. I cannot express my emotion actually. I was feeling so happy actually. But I got the visa very late. I got my passport today with my visa and yeah, now I am happy and excited. It took a longer time than expected. So at that time, my mom was very sick. It was very tough for me to leave my family and my place. Just now I have arrived at the airport in New Delhi. I'm leaving for Cape Town next week, Friday. My university way, I did my BSc and both my master's. Plan now, uh, I'm going to travel next week, Friday. Then I, I think it's just two, two hours or three hours to Cape Town. You know, Cape Town is very close to, to Zimbabwe. I'm on my way to the airport. My friend Karen, who is escorting me to the airport. Finally, I am about to leave. I would like to thank my family and my friends for their support. My motivation for applying to Empower Fellowship was to carry on my project in a top uh, research centers like ICGB. Uh, we have some equipment, but we don't have all. So for that reason, I would like to go to South Africa. It has great facilities. It has top laboratories in India, Italy, South Africa, and also has a great networking around the world. Then I wanted to learn about new technologies of emerging viruses here. When I knew that I got a scholarship, I was very happy. 
That was fantastic. Uh, I didn't imagine, actually. I didn't imagine. I just called my family, my mom. I called my colleagues. Completely changed my life. I started to think how will be my life in South Africa, how will be my research, how will improve uh, my career. So it was a, a very happy moment. When I came to the ICGB labs, I was a bit intimidated because I have never been in a big lab like this one. But I was warmly welcomed. I introduced to my supervisor, Stefano Cacetore. Maria was chosen for uh, her interesting project in biomarker discovery for um, the diagnosis of malaria in children from Tanzania. Her research can benefit from what we do as a bioinformatics unit. Bioinformatics is a good tool that I will use in my research to analyze my data. This will help us to formulate a better hypothesis as well as to validate our previous various hypotheses with regard to identification of biomarkers. I need blood samples uh, from children infected with malaria parasites in Tanzania, but we were faced with the problem of obtaining an export permit. At that time, we were not sure if we had enough time to secure the samples here in South Africa before the end of my Empower Fellowship. We are so grateful. At the moment, we got the confirmation uh, that uh, we'll get the export permit. We have been able to write one review paper in bioinformatics, and so we are just waiting for metabolomic data to do final analysis and publish that paper too. The identification of new biomarker for the diagnosis of malaria in children will help us to identify the disease earlier and therefore save many children lives. So after arriving in New Delhi, the temperature was 44 plus that time. I was melting. The ICGB is very well reputed in my country because Bangladesh is also a member country of ICGB. My PI, Dr. Dinesh Gupta, is very friendly and supportive. I am Dinesh Gupta and currently I am holding group leader position at the ICGB New Delhi campus. My work is focused on malaria, which is one of the important problems in this subcontinent. We are trying to develop uh, novel drugs against the disease because the disease is currently developing a lot of uh, resistance against the existing drug molecules. UNO SSC stands for United Nations Office of South-South Cooperation. They initiate several programs for the de developing world. Empower program is one of such programs. They promote leadership amongst women scientists from uh, the developing world. Rizwana is from Bangladesh and we have similar problems of health. For example, malaria is also a problem in Bangladesh. This project is already progressing and she has just trained the models. So if we are able to develop a molecule which is more effective against malaria than the existing drug molecules, it will be a great service to the world where we will be saving lots of lives. When I arrived in Cape Town, everything was fine, but then it was a little bit difficult for me. The lab technician, Ariel, she was helping me with everything. Initially, she helped me to establish the first experiment. Each and every day, we would take pictures. We created a WhatsApp group, my supervisor and the lab technician. Sending me pictures as her plants have been growing, asking me questions about the right time to impose treatments, whether it's the right time to harvest. So with these pictures, we we're doing a documentation for every salt treatment so that we can see how the plants are growing and how are they responding to salt stress. River Asho is interested in salt tolerance in sorghum and in looking at mechanisms of improving salt tolerance. That's why I was interested in her research proposal and why it was aligned with, with my work. The main thing that Rupa Russia will take home with her is learning 
about good project design, specifically made her project so she'll be exposed to a range of different techniques that are applicable not only to this project but to any molecular biology project. And then if we're successful, hopefully do some work on sorghum varieties that are actually growing in Zimbabwe. When I arrived here, it wasn't easy for me at the beginning because I had to adapt it to very different culture. I also was uh, homesick at the beginning, but everything in ICGB was perfect. Here, uh, the people are very kind and very friendly with me. My supervisor, Georgia Schaffer, is a great leader. She's very smart, very clear with her explanation, and she always has a smile in her face, and she always has a good energy. My name is Georgia Schaffer. I'm heading the Virology Emerging Viruses group at the ICGB component in South Africa and Cape Town. And here my research focuses on oncogenic viruses as well as COVID-19 and SARS-CoV-2. So the Empower Fellowship program was launched last year with the idea to give emerging female scientists from the Global South the opportunity to spend a six-month research visit in one of the ICGB components, either in Cape Town or New Delhi. LIDA's project proposal seeks to understand the serology of common coronaviruses, and she asked whether pre-exposure to these common coronaviruses might have some cross-protection against SARS-CoV-2 infection. I found this really interesting because so far my research was on COVID-19 and I had clinical cohorts both non-hospitalized and hospitalized COVID patients and I looked at co-infections with other viruses but I have not looked at common coronaviruses yet. So LIDA came in and suggested to set up a test pipeline in the laboratory to test the existing clinical samples from my research for the presence of these common coronaviruses and do a statistical analysis to see whether there is some association between pre-exposure to these common coronaviruses and protection against COVID-19 disease. We found out excellent results. One of these four common coronavirus, NL63 coronavirus, that cause common cold, seems to cross-protect against severe COVID-19 disease. So I think it was a very successful research visit. Thanks to the Empower Fellowship, I'm able to do this advanced research. From this research, I will get the publications which will build up my CV to get more grants and to be eligible for more collaborations. In my country, to be a woman, do science, and teach is a very difficult thing because you have balance work, family and research at the same time. To young women who want to do science, I always tell them everything is possible. So when I go back to my country, my research work will be helpful to generate a new drug for not only Bangladesh, but also for other part of the South Asia. This fellowship has changed my life because I can continue my research work here that will help me to build my career in future. Given that sorghum is moderately tolerant to salt stress, I would like to explore how the microbiome ate the crop. The moment I get to know how the microbiome is helping it, maybe we can use the same information to improve other cereal crops like maize. If we can understand this, we can make more food and feed more people. The fellowship exposed me to world-class technologies in terms of laboratory work that I didn't have, that they will be very helpful and they are fundamental for my PhD studies. The idea is to transmit to my students all the knowledge I have learned here at ICGB. I think it's important to mention that the project was created together with Professor Dumar Alexander Jaramillo Hernandez. We both create the line of research in zero epidemiology of SARS-CoV-2. With projects like Empower, it now makes it easy for women to follow their dreams in science and research. Being a researcher in Bangladesh is difficult, but it is more difficult to be a female researcher. To other women, I would like to suggest them to follow their mind, to be positive and to work smartly. Challenges are the part of the life, but don't get heartbroken. 
do your work, whatever you want. I just want to say, you have to do whatever it takes to get to the top. You need to be dedicated. The moment you want something, you just need to put your mind on it. You work hard and then you'll get there. There is no recipe or a protocol to follow in order to become a scientist, but uh, with some values like your responsibility, discipline, and perseverance, you can accomplish all what you want.